I don't have an untangle video today, but I have a video about the Asterix AP20 phone and resetting these. So at work, I was asked, do you want a whole pile of these Asterix phones? Because I know you like to collect junk at home and play with it. Of course I did. So I have 20 of these phones and I can't do anything with them because they got a password on them. And for the life of me, I Googled for three days how to figure out how to reset these phones and I could not figure it out. And then I phoned them and their support was awesome. Like I had a result and I don't know, five minutes how to reset them, but it didn't work. So they emailed me a code how to do it. And I tried that several, several times and I just could not figure it out. So I posted on the forums again saying, can't figure this out. What is going on? It was just the way that you have to enable um, the boot mode and then push the key code. After you do that, the phone resets and works. So now I have a whole pile of these to play with. I'm going to give a couple to my friend. They're in like immaculate condition. Um, I guess we did a project um, and they didn't like the phones or something. I don't know. I don't know what the whole story is, but I know that I got them for free and I can play with them at home. Did a whole bunch of reading online and it looks like Asterix PBX server is free and it's not really that hard. Now, in my house here, I use a free PBX over a VPN system with a friend of mine. And I have one of these awesome little wireless phones and I walk around the house and I use it all the time and it works great. So I think I'm going to challenge myself this year to figure out Asterix and set up my own um, PBX phone system in the house and see how that goes. So, today's video is about showing you guys how easy it is to reset these phones. I have a brand new one, I'm going to take it out of the box, plug it into a PoE port on my Switch. It'll get an IP address, I'll show you that it has information in it, and then I'll unplug it. We'll go into the way to um, factory reset it, and then we'll go from there. Pretty easy video, but uh, I, for, for the life of me, could not figure it out, and I saw tons of posts online saying people can't figure it out either. So. I hope this video helps somebody out there in the future and um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to set up the camera, plug in the phone and we'll go from there. Okay. So we got one of these phones right here. Take her out of the box. Put it off to the side. So we got a phone, right? Let's plug her into the network here. As it's booting up, takes a couple seconds. Put the base on them so we can stand them up. Let's flip them over. Goes like this, slides over. Okay, it's gonna let the phone boot up and then we'll see what's going on there. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's take a handset out here. I think it's gonna complain. on here so it doesn't complain. So we got it's online up here in the top corner it's showing that there's no network hopefully it'll oh. where's my oh. it's too much glare on the screen but anyways so the phone's online if we go exit and we try to go into the menu so settings advanced and we try to put in the default password of 789. We get incorrect password. Sorry, it's not coming up on the screen too well there. Uh, so that's just to show you that it's uh, online and working. It's got information on there. So now what we want to do is turn it off and then turn it on, put it into boot mode, and then we will factory reset it. So pull this out. Wait a second plug it into the right port here so we got 
net, uh, computer, and we have network. If we plug it into the network, it'll be. Post mode. So now we go star pound one six eight. Clearing all. Phone is reset. All right. Now we'll wait a couple more seconds. Pull out the Ethernet cable because it's for power. You could do this with the uh, phone power. Down here, there's a power um, jack. We'll plug it back in. My good old untangle mat thing up here. <laughs> Some water. Okay. Give it a couple more seconds. And we're back at the phone. So now we should go into it and we see nothing in here. So we can go exit, we can go into the menu, we go to the settings. Go advanced to check on the phone, make sure it's working. We'll put in the password of default of 789, and we're in. So, very quick video. I don't know if this will help anybody, but uh, help me. And uh, thank for the guys on Asterix. Um, I didn't think I was going to get any service from them, but uh, they helped me out. I think his name was Doug, and he was awesome. So, here's a quick video how to reset your um, Asterix uh, AP20 phone. Thanks for watching.